Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello students, I am Sobhya Ravel from Peshawar Model School, Mujhara Campus. Uh, this is my lecture number 3 for your SVT we, and from unit number 1 which is introduction to biology. Before starting, do subscribe my channel and so uh, let's begin. Uh, so the lecture to for today's uh, lecture, the topic is the five kingdom classification. This is uh, this chapter is as included in your SVT. So today we are going to start with our lecture number three. Now, as in your SVT, the question number one is read chapter number one, introduction to biology. So we are going to continue with that. Now today the topic is the five kingdom classification. Students. Uh, Robert Whittaker in 1968 classified all living organisms into five kingdoms. The scientist who uh, gave the five kingdom cl classification was Robert Whittaker. Before uh, Robert Whittaker, there were many scientists who classified organisms into two kingdoms. That, that, that were uh, Plantae and Animalia. All the organisms they were classified into two kingdoms and that was known as the two kingdom classification. But Robert Whittaker gave the five kingdom classification. Now what are that five kingdoms? They are Prokaryotes, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. First one is kingdom Prokaryote or kingdom Monera. Now the kingdom, this kingdom includes all unicellular and microscopic organisms. These organisms lack membrane bounded nucleus and other organelles inside their cells. Their cell wall is made up of murine, examples are bacteria and cyanobacteria. Now what are these organisms? These are unicellular, they do not have any nucleus, they do not have any uh, cell organelles like mitochondria, like Golgi bodies, like endoplasmic reticulum etc. And they have a cell wall. And that cell wall is made up of a specific uh, polysaccharide, a specific carbohydrate which is known as murin. And the examples are bacteria and cyanobacteria. Next one is kingdom protista. Now this kingdom includes eukaryotic organisms which are usually small and having differences with the organisms of other eukaryotic kingdoms. Students you know very well that there are two main types of organisms. One are prokaryotes and the other are eukaryotes. Now, prokaryotic organisms are those which are uh, unicellular and eukaryotes, eukaryotes are usually, are, some are unicellular and some are multicellular, but they have differences with one another. Now, these uh, protists are different from other eukaryotic organisms. They usually live in aquatic habitats like algae, slime molds, protozoans. Now their most common examples are amoeba, paramecium, eugenia, etc. They are very small and they cannot be seen with the naked eye. Next one is kingdom fungi. Fungi includes organisms which are all eukaryotic and multicellular. Their cell wall is made of chitin. Now what is chitin? Chitin is a specific carbohydrate, a polysaccharide of which the cell wall of kingdom fungi organisms is made. They do not have chloroplast so they cannot synthesize their own food and they are therefore they are heterotrophic as they do not have any chloroplast so they are heterotrophic there are two types of organisms one are autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic which can make their own food and heterotrophic which cannot make their own food the food stored inside the body is in the form of glycogen they store their food in the form of a special type of a compound which is called glycogen now Examples are mushrooms, molds, puffballs, yeast, these all are fungi. Next one is Kingdom Plantae. Kingdom Plantae includes all the multicellular and eukaryotic organisms which are autotrophic in nature. <coughs> in simple, all the plants are included in Kingdom Plantae which are multicellular, more than one cell and which can make their own food. Next one is Kingdom Animalia. This kingdom includes multicellular and eukaryotic organisms which are heterotrophic in nature. These are multicellular and they cannot make their own food. All the animals are included in kingdom Animalia. Now there are two groups in this uh, kingdom. One is vertebrates and the other is invertebrates. These all are included in kingdom Animalia. The one which have a backbone and the one which do not have a backbone. These include animals like jellyfish, worms, insects, fish, reptiles, birds, mammals, all the animals they are included in the kingdom animalia. Yeah. 